damp, chilly evening in L.A., but on the bluff at Loyola Marymount, they're more than fired up for some WCC men's hoops. Tonight, from Hank's house, it's the LMU Lions getting set to take on the Broncos of Santa Clara. Hey everybody, welcome inside Garrison Pavilion. Happy to have you along, alongside Richie Schuler. I'm Christian Miles and Richie. We head into the final two games of the WCC regular season. These two neck and neck in the standings, so plenty to play for tonight. Yeah, they're five and six in the standings and they're both trying to keep Mike Dunlap, the 61 year old, in his best ever season in his fifth campaign as the head coach, 18 wins and 10 defeats. A very hard nosed and tough-minded man and trying to instill that same quality in his team. We are underway from Hank's house here at Garrison Pavilion and it will be Santa Clara in the maroon and gray but a steal right off the bat and taking it straight to the rack. A welcome return for Jeffrey McClendon, the senior from Pasadena who just came back from a concussion injury suffered a couple of weeks ago. What a tempo we've got here. Not really indicative of the typical style of Loyola Marymount is Scott dishes inside and roller for Peter Herman making the most of his start tonight for the Lions. I love the pass from On the kick, Quintana for three. And what went too strong, missing everything. And rebounded by Keyshawn Justice. Justice says, I'll take it and I'll hit it. Nicely done by the freshman. Keyshawn Justice, the six foot four, 190 pound forward from Madison, Wisconsin. He can shoot the lights out from beyond the arc, and he does so that time. And I tell you what, Santa Clara continue to roll up by 11s here in the first half over LMU. Early days though, as Edie continues to chip away. Into the corner now for his backcourt mate Wirtz who dumps it down low. Here's Rankage working on Eli Scott and nowhere to go. Three to shoot. Edie pulls up, beats the clock and hits it. Big shot from the sophomore Taj Edie. Rankage determined great pass down low. Slam home by big Zeke Richards. But what a pass from Rankage. Starting to blossom before our very eyes. Justice kicks. Edie pulls the trigger and a chance for the four-point play. What a shot from Taj Edie. Down low for Frankich, working on Scott. The high-low, Frankich just throws it up and it goes. This kid can do no wrong. Josip Frankich, ladies and gentlemen, and another chance at a three-point play. Uso steps on the screen, he'll go low post, back to the basket, Bell underneath, I mean, up and under, Davey and Douglas, and here come the Lions, starting to roar. That ends a 7-0 run by LMU, but they go right back to work. Williams is stripped, and it's Edie in the open court. Watch out, coast to coast, Taj Edie, cool as a cucumber, as he glides all the way to the rack, 25 points for the sophomore tonight. And the crowd erupts into chance of defense. That's how they're going to get back into this game. And it's another steal. It's a two against one. McClendon all the way in the glass. Amen. And it's all clicking right now for LMU, who have cut the lead to six. Work trying to take matters into his own hand. Finger roll, pretty stuff from the freshman, Trey Wirtz, the top scoring freshman in the West Coast Conference. It's just a huge possession. He wanted it in the hands of Bateman, who reverses course, looks to the corner for Douglas. Four to shoot, Douglas leaves it short. McClendon on the second chance, offensive rebound. And a foul, and a foul. Five seconds, they've got to foul. Bateman finally is fouled. Unbelievable. Well, they've turned things around. You can see what it means to them. They've re-energized the student body and some future Lions, perhaps. That will do it from Loyola Marymount with the final score, LMU 72, Santa Clara 70. Make sure to join us on Spectrum Sportsnet coming up on Saturday at 1 for LMU at San Francisco. That'll do it for us. For Richie Schuler, I'm Christian Miles saying good night from Kirsten Pavilion.